be assigned to a former organization that's fighting about them. And I, I think that's something that we should all understand. That people are the same. Their governments may be different, but the people actually always have one desire, and that is to live and to raise their families in peace and in the customs of their predecessors. And I, I needed to say that, and I'm sorry it took so much time. This morning I was at a ceremony that the organization for French. I could have gone home, and I made myself grounded. And I told the commanding officer, and I said, I do not want any orders sending me home. I'm going to go to China. I want to fly for this man, this <laughs> lady's grand, grandfather. And that's what it is. We were over this mission last week uh, with a certificate from our... <laughs> Imperial Japan against Eastern and Southern China targets in French Indochina. Pose for the photographer oh, straight ahead. Oh my. Bombing of the Japanese home islands uh, from four specifically built airfields in Chalabas at the U.S. Mission China. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Montgomery, home, mayor of the home of the Beach Boys, Manhattan Beach, California. We're at a difficult moment in the U.S.-China relationship. We are in many ways rivals, strategically. We compete, and that's the word that President Biden, as well as President Trump, have used to describe this relationship. We compete on security issues, on technology issues, on human rights issues, for instance. But the two peoples of the countries have always been together, we're the two largest and strongest countries in the world. We have to live with each other. As someone said to me the other day, divorce is not an option. We have to share the planet despite our competition and rivalry, and we have to work together for peace between the United States and China. 1943, that's when my start started. They assigned